and breathe. I can take my time. <laughs> what a relief. <laughs> Do you know what a blooming night we had? I've just got to tell you about it. What a weekend. Um, it was my husband's works due just down in about a two and a half hour driveway in Staffordshire, down south for me, that. And we weren't going to go because my daughter's one thing and my daughter's not been well all week. And so we weren't going to go. But she started getting a lot better yesterday and it's all paid for in a five star hotel, Hallcross Hall in Staffordshire. Note that name. And um, and it was, I was looking forward to it. And I was looking forward to it, not drinking, you know, because the food was going to be lovely. I was just looking forward to getting away with Simon to a lovely hotel room, beautiful spa. They paid for spa treatments for both, for everybody. So me and him were having a facial this morning. Um, and I'm back at home now, by the way. And anyway, we just, Nancy got a lot better. So we decided to go. Uh, we said we weren't going. We decided to go, but we were going to miss the food and that. And I wasn't fussed about that because... The woman who was organising it had done this like speed dating thing where you, you know, go around and sit next to other people. I don't use your mind stuff like that because I've had a bit of an emotional week myself. I just couldn't be asked. But uh, I know that sounds a bit awful, but that's just how I felt. But I'd, I wanted to go and so we went and we didn't get there till about half past ten. And anyway, they checked us in. <laughs> And the room, honestly, I've never seen anything like it. We went, we went, I went out to reception, I said, oh, are you having a laugh? And they put us in this room, it was just unreal. <laughs> it was like 30 years old, this room. And the bathroom, it, we were in the disabled room because there was no bath and that's not an issue. You see, you'd expect a nice wet room in a five-star hotel. It was like those, like those tiles on the floor, those hard, solid, yellowish tiles that you so you don't slip on them. Emergency light poles everywhere, great big things to help you get on and off the toilet. You know, no, just an awful shower type of thing. So anyway, they moved us and they didn't have anything left. So they relied on another couple not coming. Don't know why I'm telling you all this. And uh, it's because I've got more than 90 seconds. <laughs> I'm milking it. And anyway, this, uh, so they said they'd move us if this other couple never turned up. So at midnight, they moved us to a really big room that was still equally as shit, although it wasn't quite as shit. And you know what, if I can put two videos, I might have to just, put your couple of pictures on it was just awful but do you know what we went down to the do they'd all eaten they were having private dining all very fancy or well, supposedly like the room's fancy and so they'd all finished eating and what an eye up no walking in to a load of pissed people so it wasn't like you know when you start the night and everybody's sort of sober and you see the progression well this wasn't oh my god you know, some of them were right, but some were really stim. There was one bloke in particular who just gave me the willies. Uh, oh, God, honestly, I hope nobody's on here. And he shut my hand, and I've got quite a firm grip. And, oh, you've got a very firm grip, haven't you? And I, he wouldn't let go. And so I can't remember what I said to him. And he said to my husband, he goes, oh, she's very feisty, isn't she? I thought, oh, not bad. You know, and he just did made in, oh, and he was just so drunk. And as the night went on, we only were there for two and a half hours. And just so drunk, so drunk. And there was another bloke at the bar who said to me, husband, how old do you sign? And, you know, and Sam said, 50. Oh, you don't look a fucking deal of a 38. So I know I look him having some sort of seizure, but that's what he looked like. And I was just staring at him and thought they were so drunk. And I'm not judging. Again, please don't feel I'm judging because I'm not. Because all I'm looking at is that that's what I would have been like. And then there's different variances of drunkness and there was a woman who was in her pajamas she'd come down at the bar in her pajamas and her slippers and she goes oh god i can't be doing with all these drunk people now and simon said why have you not been drinking oh i've had absolutely loads but i feel fine i feel fine you know i just didn't want and i thought you're in your pajamas love at the bar and you silk pajamas you know and that was i used to do that i used to say one of my sayings used to be do you know what, I've had absolute lows, but I feel, I feel I could drive. Not that I would ever drive, because I never have drunk and driven, but I feel I could drive, justifying to people that I'm actually all right. <laughs> I was looking at her thinking, dickhead, in a nice way, not awful, because she was probably a very nice lady. But I was thinking, dickhead me. I was talking to the old me, really. And I'm not kidding you, I wanted to stay up with the drunk people, because I didn't want to go back to my shit hell of a room. <laughs> It was just awful. And I just, they, thank God they had fluffy robe, fluffy robe, my ass, and slippers on the bed. It was comical, honestly. 
I'll need to post, put a picture on. If you watch this video, I'll put a little picture on of the room. <laughs> And I laid in bed. I couldn't put my feet on the carpet. It was so covered in stains. And for the first time, I wished I was pissed because I wouldn't have given a shit about the bad room. I'd have been hammered. You know, and I thought, I just want to go to bed. We haven't eaten because Sam's not been well either. I thought I'd have room service. And I read the rev reviews on TripAdvisor. It says, don't order room service. And all they had was sandwiches, the reception. So all we have is sandwiches after 10 o'clock. Oh, for a five-star hotel and spa, and all they have is sandwiches. I'd like a club sandwich under a cloche with some lovely luxury vanilla ice cream. You know, I love ordering room service. It's a treat. So I decided not to bother. So I just, you know, I, I couldn't believe it. And this morning, everybody's so rough. And at breakfast, everybody's, you can see some people are really embarrassed, you know. And yet me and Simon sober danced on the carpet. You know, I was dancing to all sorts and I'm doing a step challenge with myself at the moment. I'm doing half a million steps. I did it in November and I'm doing it again in December just to keep me active. And I just love it. Absolutely love it. Just doing it with myself. And I averaged 500 steps per dance. <laughs> I'd done 3,000 before I went to bed. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that, I tell you. Got up this morning, did an hour's walk, came back because the, the grounds were lovely. Came back, had breakfast, not a lot. Went back out because my facial had been cancelled, so I couldn't have that. So I went back out for the 45 minute walk, 17,000 steps in the bank at one o'clock. And yeah, so, and I was speaking to my husband on the way back. It is the most biggest confirmation, or I forget what the word is, of um, research. What's the word, resurgence? No, I forget. Reaffirmation. Oh, oh, I can't think. Sorry. Of, I am so pleased. I, it's the most proud I've been of myself for not drinking. The most proud. I feel chuffed. And I've come home. My son was out last night. He's come home from you. And it's the worst he's been. He's feeling rough as anything this morning. And I just, it's my brother's 50th. I just want to go there for two hours. Come home. Get cosy. And watch Strictly. But it ruined it because I saw the paper today. So I know who wins. But I won't tell you just in case you didn't. Strictly come dancing, by the way, for those of you who aren't in the UK. So that's what I want to do. And I feel sober. And I feel great. What a weird weekend in the shit, all cross hall, all cross shit hall, more like. I tell you, just unreal. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sober and I sober danced. And I feel the more I do it, because I don't often go out a lot, seven, four, I've not done a long one for ages. So I'm going out for a walk. I'm just going, I've got to take the dog out. But the more, I've not actually been out to big do's a lot. I've had, a, this is probably about the third or fourth big party. And I think I don't have them avoiding them, but we're not big goer outers. But the more I do it, the more I think. And I was watching people, how they just keep topping up the wine. I'm looking at them going, why are you doing that? You don't need it. Have you checked yourself out? You don't need it. You know, you're dancing, you're having a good time. And yet they're still there pouring, pouring, pouring. That was me. That was me. Just this time last year, that was me. I remember I had the worst hangover this time last year from one of the staff do's where you, you know, you wake up and you hang up, you're still pissed, your hangover hasn't even started. Do you remember those mornings and you don't know what to eat, so you eat everything, you have a can of coke, you have a fresh orange juice, you have a pie, you have a sandwich, you have a bag of crisps, you have a juice, you have a, you think, shit, nothing satisfies me, I just want to die. Oh, and I don't have it and I'm, so, I'm giddy, I'm sorry, I'm going on because I'm giddy with excitement that I don't have it. You know, and the advantage, and this could be my advice to you. I like to finish with a tip. My advice to you is if you're going out, go out two hours later than everybody else because it misses all that shit of, why aren't you drinking? Oh, you should be drinking. Oh, no, nobody gave a shit. Honestly, it was ace. I just went in and sober danced. And I like my dancing. So, uh, so yeah, I thought I'd just share that with you for a long time. So, one minute, 30 seconds. Try nine minutes, 15. <laughs> I know I've given you a lot of irrelevant detail, but anyway, I just wanted to tell you, and hall cross hall, give it a wide berth, let me tell you. All right then, bye. Oh, I'd love to know what, oh, what's happened? What, who was it? Who, I saw somebody's post last night, I forget her name, I'm sure she's from America. I can't, I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name. Oh my God, going out to stuff do with your red dress on, you looked amazing. Yeah. So, all these do's, how are you coping with them? Because I tell you, Bring on the next one. Ooh, although there isn't the next one. So bring on Christmas Day or something. <laughs> Find a friend. Billy no mates. All right then. <laughs> Bye.